Have you ever seen a monkey play ping pong? And how about a paralyzed person able to use gadgets with their minds? Musk's company Neuralink's goal is to build a brain computer interface that allows people to wirelessly share information between their brain and a computer. In fact, last year, Neuralink implanted a chip in monkey's brain called Pager. Now, this monkey was able to play a video game using a joystick. The Neuralink chip recorded Pager's brain activity and sent it back to the computer for analysis. We, we hope to have this in our first humans. Musk claims that these clinical trials can help a paralyzed person to solve immediate problems like treating Parkinson's disease and brain ailments from depression, anxiety, and dementia. While Musk watches for this new tech, many experts have openly expressed concerns. A Daily Beast report said that scientists have ethical concerns about this venture. One of the scientists, Dr. Karola Kretmer, assistant professor of medical history and bioethics at the University of Wisconsin, Madison called it an uncomfortable marriage between a company that is for profit. Experts also say that technologies such as these that are meant to help those with disabilities can ultimately be exploited for profit. When Analytics India magazine spoke to Kazim Rizvi, the founding director of the dialogue, he posed some serious critical questions. Whether the ends that the technology seeks to achieve is moral, especially when differentiating the use of tech between providing healthcare and enhancing the existing abilities of human. To achieve the defined ends of healthcare, which entail experimenting on human bodies without clarity on its long-term physical and psychological effects, who will look at its regulations? Twitter users have also drawn comparisons between an episode of Black Mirror called The Entire History of You that allows characters to replay memories with chips in their brains which ended up harming their mental health and personal privacy. Another episode titled Black Museum involves an opportunist using neural devices to conduct debatable experiments on doctors and patients under the pretense of advancing medical research. Apart from ethical questions, many in Musk's company have raised concerns about employees' working conditions. Around six former Neuralink employees claim that the company has a toxic culture that is driven by fear and pressure. Of the eight scientists that helped Musk establish the company, only two are still with the company, Don Jing Xiao and Paul Merola. Despite the backlash from employees and experts, Musk has reiterated the 2022 timeline. He often has a habit of over-promising and under-delivering. Last year, he said in February that Neuralink could start implanting the tech in people by the end of 2021. In 2019, Musk said that Neuralink hoped to begin human testing by the end of 2020.